So I thought I'd talk about creating an environment, an exciting environment for your painters to want to come. And let's just talk about the long and short of it. Mostly you're going to be dragging your friends in here to help you paint, right? So uh, that's an important part is to create an environment that people do want to come. You've got music playing. Uh, you're encouraging people. It's a good time. We're all in a good mood doing this fun, fun work. And uh, what I really try to do is, no matter where I'm at, and I've been in all kinds of scenarios, painted in barns, I've painted in my garage many, many, many years, I've painted in moldy church basements, I've painted, you know, in these great accommodations that we have now, which is this huge gym, so that is awesome. But in whatever environment that you have, just be that encourager, be that person that isn't just giving out the next job, but you're catching up on people's lives. That's what I think we need to create a fun, fun environment to paint in. All right, so here's our next question. How do you keep it all organized? So in regards to organization, wow, that is a huge learning curve. And I call it uh, organized chaos because it is total chaos. You know, we have paintbrushes everywhere. We have things going on everywhere, people in and out, and it is a crazy, <laughs> it's a crazy, crazy situation a lot of the time. So, you know, we, we clean up at the end of the day, we reorganize the next morning. So I come in every morning, I assess what can go into the done pile. The done pile is the hallelujah, praise the Lord, done pile. I assess what needs to go over to the cutting pile. So we have a whole cutting zone. So in regards to staying organized, um, you just have to do an assessment at the beginning of each day, figure out what still needs to get done, where to put what. Hopefully it will get to go to the done pile because we love the done pile. <laughs> So when we're doing all this detail work, of course, everybody's sharing paint colors and things like that. So we just want to make it easy for our artists to get a little bit of paint that they need without having to carry a big bucket around. So we use tons of styrofoam cups, just your regular styrofoam coffee cup. We put whatever color paints they need in, and by covering it in foil, this paint stays really fresh. And we're always really good to make sure that we dab the paint on the top of the foil cover so it's real easy to come up, figure out what color it is, take that to your workstation, grab a couple brushes, and do your detail work. And these actually stay fresh for, well, we use them for three weeks in a row. And by keeping them covered, the paint always stays fresh. And it's always there when an artist just might need just a little bit of a color. Grab it, go, bring it back. Uh. Our, our latest technique on bricks is we have discovered at the hardware store prefab bricking. Do you remember that from the 70s? It was big in 80s, but it's still being sold. And, and for not very much money, a sheet, you can get a four foot by eight foot sheet. So that was the appeal too, was that it was our same working size of everything else. And uh, we bought these sheets of bricking not knowing how they would paint up and lo and behold they paint like a dream i mean seriously it's like amazing we we did that in a playful way but we've also you know last year what was our theme last year um international type buildings for spy academy so we used a lot of that bricking and it saves a lot of time and it looks so awesome so you can't go wrong with that